Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today in this video, I want to share some fusion themes with you guys. Now, we spend a lot of time inside the fusion page and it becomes quite boring seeing the same interface. So I decided to change uh, the colors a little bit here and there and uh, create a new interface. If you check the link in the description, uh, you can just download the theme from this page over here. It's a free download. But if you are feeling generous, then you can consider making a donation. Uh, there are three uh, themes in this pack currently. I might add new themes, but currently there are three themes. So if you go to the first one, there is the purple, there is the fusion theme over here, and there is a screenshot as well. So you can um, check the screenshot right over here and see how it looks. And then we have... Uh, another theme over here and then finally we have uh, this theme over here installation is pretty simple so you can just simply copy this fusion.fu skin file go to the location where your DaVinci Resolve is installed in my case it's on my C drive program files Blackmagic design DaVinci Resolve and then in the skins folder so uh, make sure before you paste the file over here and replace it uh, just make sure you take a backup of your old skin uh, just in case anything goes wrong you can just uh, use the old skin over here so this is my old fusion skin and i have just simply renamed it to fusion.fuskin.stock so i can at any time rename this to fusion.fuskin and i'll be good to go so just rename it to anything that you want this can be anything at the end you can just put a fusion.fuskin.old.backup or anything that you want it doesn't really matter uh, and then once you do that then you can just simply paste in your uh, new fusion.fuskin file that we just copied so since i already have this uh, fusion skin over here i'm going to just launch up my davinci resolve so that i can show you which theme is currently running all right so i'm going to create a new project and then i'm going to go straight into the fusion page yeah as you can see i am currently running the deep purple theme uh, so uh, to change the skin i can simply uh, go to the theme pack and i can use another theme over here such as this one that is faded gray so if i just copy it and paste it over here Control v to paste it i'll replace the file and sometimes it asks you for administrative privileges just allow it to allow all the the privileges click on yes and you should be good to go and then once you do it you have to restart your DaVinci Resolve and let's create a new project go to the fusion page and you can see now you have the new skin over here all right guys now let me show you how you can create your own theme so um, basically um, what you have to do is you have to take your old skin that you had previously just copy it and I actually uh, you have it over here fusion.fuskin and you have to extract it you right click on it and you use 7-zip and extract the contents of this file and you should get a folder and inside that folder you will have you know if you skin and you have all these different folders different icons so for example these are the arrows over here and you can see that it's using the default color scheme so you have to go ahead and change the color of each arrow over here to any color that you want um, and you have to do this for all the different folders over here so this process does take some time then what you have to do also is you have to open up this fusion.skin file so i'm going to right click and open it with visual studio code i'm going to just open that up so we can see that there are different colors over here so what we are really interested in this is this color that says penguin gray and uh, this color over here that is uh, orca gray this will cover 80 to 90 percent of your fusion ui so these two colors will be for your 
uh, the background color of the, or the application color. Uh, just remember penguin gray and orca gray, which is right over here. But these are your RGB color values. So if you type in, let's say RGB and let's um, type in RGB and open parentheses. I'm going to type this number over here. Uh, or I can just simply copy the value over here and paste it over here. And now you can see that Visual Studio Code just I have this extension over here um, that will highlight the color over here as you can see. Um, so yeah, basically uh, this is the color that's currently installed in the Fusion Skin. But then yeah, you can go ahead and change it to any color that you want. So uh, for example, if I set everything to 0, 0 and let's say 38 and you can see that we will get this color over here. And you have, if you like this color, then you have to simply replace this value over here, 0, 0, and 38. And you simply have to copy this value, which is for the penguin gray. And we have to copy it and paste it over here for orca gray as well. And that way you will have a constant theme in your Fusion UI. Alright, so uh, once you do that, then you have to save your file. You can see right now it's not saved over here and you don't need this uh, color code over here so you can get rid of it. Just save your file and once you save it, then all you have to do is just select all of these uh, uh, folders or in the files, right click and create a, an archive for this, a zip archive. So go to 7zip and click on add to fusion skin.zip. And now let 7-zip do its thing. And once the process finishes, then you will see this 7-zip uh, file over here. You have to simply uh, rename it, remove the zip extension from here. Make sure it's only fusion.fu skin. Uh, click on yes to accept the changes. And then you simply have to copy or cut this file from here. And you have to paste it in your black magic skins directory i'm not going to do that because uh, it's uh, the old skin uh, restart your resolve if it's already running and you should see the new skin in the fusion page so that is pretty much it that's how you can install a theme inside of the fusion page and i'll also show you how you can create your own custom theme thank you so much for watching the video i hope this video is helpful if it was please do hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel